good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, it is another good morning. We're happy, right? That's what I thought. I am happy anyways. I don't know about you guys, but we are very happy and we are back on the road again. Basically just put her in gear, but hey, here we are. Slowly making our way down to Georgia. Oh yeah. That's right. My boy over there, he's getting hungry. <laughs> right? A little bit? Sort of. Yeah. Sort of? I will soon. You will soon. What do you will what will you soon? Eat. Eat? Oh my. Okay then. But yeah. We're getting our day started, that's for sure. We've got about 86 more miles to go, and we will be at 94, I-94. Yeah, that's right. But, uh, hey, we are 1134 miles to go to our delivery, so we got us a little bit driving to do yet. So stick around, guys. We will show you what we can. Hope it will be interesting to you guys. So stick around and don't go nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on I-94. Yes, indeed. We're sitting at mile marker 86 as of right now. Going downhill, I guess. Yeah, we got a little bit of a hilly uh, stretch of highway up here on I-94. I guess here from, uh, I guess, maybe 70 mile marker till about, uh, I would say, a little bit past Black River Falls. There's a little bit of a stretch where we have a little bit of a yield, but hey, not too bad, you know. Just perfectly enough to where it's a little bit of scenic areas and stuff, but other than that, that's it, you know. But yeah, we're just cruising right along here. I've been going for about an hour and uh, 45 minutes now, so... Still not time to make a pit step, but hey, eventually we will, right? Probably about another hour, maybe an hour and a half. Hour. Yeah, probably an hour and a half, and then we'll make a pit stop. But yeah. I don't know what we'll do, if we will have breakfast or what we're going to do, but hey. I know you already had cereal this morning, but... A little. Yeah, I'm not really much of a guy that gets up at in the morning and, and basically can eat right away. I just... That's I don't know. Me. Yeah, that's him, but not me. I don't really care for that. <laughs> But anyways, uh, we're cruising right along here. And yeah, so we'll see exactly what we will be up to today. Hopefully we don't get any thunderstorms today. It's supposed to be really humid and hot today again. I think for the next couple of days we got like a heat wave coming through the United States, even in Canada. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, I've been at this truck stop here to the left a few times. I think me and mom even stopped in here one time. Really? I think so, yeah. I think we've been even in there one time. But, well, you know, we usually go down this highway quite often on a regular basis. So, you know, you kind of get your spots where you like to stop in and do your business or whatever. Or stay the night there or whatever, you know. So, so yeah. We got another 27 miles to Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Madison is another 154 miles. So I don't know. We'll see exactly where we make it up to. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to the time where we got to take our... Well, we don't really have to, but we want to take our half an hour break here. Yes, indeed. Here about one mile or so, we'll take our exit. And uh, we'll go take our half an hour break. And what better place to do it than, than a quick trip truck stop? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we will be making us some sandwiches, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have some sandwiches. 
damages and then uh, we'll evaluate our fridge stock what we have in our fridge and if we need anything at least we can go do a little shopping up here and I think we will need tomatoes yeah so uh, I know they have tomatoes here generally anyways so uh, we'll go ahead and chop a little bit I'll probably go get me some windshield washer fluid I've been using a lot of that all that good stuff so uh, so yeah we'll go do a little shopping if we can and uh, have a bite to eat take our half an hour break all that good stuff and then we will be good to go for a while again eh? I, I think, think so. so yeah I think so too yeah I like the quick trips for that you know you can go in there and do your shopping that you need like I explained last week it's a lot cheaper generally to shop at those places not only is it cheaper they do have the stuff you know like tomatoes and stuff like that you can hardly get anywhere else except in a uh, quick trip like most flying J pilots loves petrol all of them guys TA they don't have carry tomatoes I've never seen them carry tomatoes they don't carry onions, they don't carry potatoes. These guys do. I love that about these truck stops, you know? And I don't think there is too many around uh, further south. In the half so we're gonna Jump make our foot stop here. This Union is one of the last w ones out here. And uh, make sure we stock up on food. And yeah, there's a helicopter out there. I've been seeing them fly around here for a good while, so I guess, uh, it looks like a military type of helicopter, but I couldn't quite tell. What was it? Did you tell? Not looks really. Sort of like police force or something. Yeah. Okay. They maybe they're searching for somebody. Could be. Yeah. You never know. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pull her in over here, and we'll go find us a parking spot, and we can take care of business, right? Oh yeah. That's the plan anyways. No fuel. Over there if you enter over there. But if you enter over here, you can actually get feet. fuel Drive from... left on Jefferson Street. So, I guess we'll just pull right on through and then uh, we'll get us some sandwiches made and all that good stuff. So I guess we'll talk with you guys a little bit later. Welcome to Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. I-39. I managed to find uh, 
a rest area up there but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go up to there or not I guess I'll decide a little bit later on if we will actually make it up to there or not but but as of right now we're just giving her cruising right along here we've got five hours behind us now so we can go for another well at least five and a half hours so that will put us a lot closer towards our delivery for tomorrow well we don't have to deliver till Friday but because I know this place we just drop our trailer there so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go there and drop this trailer Keep to the left on I probably tomorrow night but we'll see exactly if we're going to do it tomorrow night or not. We'll be depending on probably if we get us a reload tomorrow or not. So far we still haven't gotten a reload yet. Continue on this road for 14 miles. If we do all of a sudden get us a reload either tonight or tomorrow afternoon, then that gives us a better idea on what we're going to be doing from here. So then we can plan a little bit better if we want to deliver our load tomorrow night or if we want to wait till Friday morning. Whichever way we're going to do it is the way we're going to do it. <laughs> That's the way it's going to be. We decide on a moment notice, right? I think so. Whenever we feel like it or we think it's going to be better for us, we'll decide on that probably tomorrow. But as of right now, we're just cruising right along. We're hoping it's not going to be any tornadoes or thunderstorm I know we were uh, driven through kind of a like a heavy thunderstorm there last week which was exactly today's video which was seven days ago from when you watched this video <laughs> which is a little confusing but yeah I know we're seven days behind whichever we record today will be re will be uh, released in seven days from today yeah so today is the 20th, the video will be released on the 27th, yes indeed, but I hope you guys are enjoying our little adventure here, especially since my son is coming and riding along with us, he is very entertaining sometimes too on the video, we try and make it right, yeah, so we'll continue on with our journey and and the hope that we can get to our delivery. And we can entertain you guys. Hey guys, look at this. We're going over a river. I'm not sure which one it is. I didn't see any signage for it, but uh, it is on I-39 southbound. Well, I guess northbound as well, but uh, yeah, we are on I-39. It looks like it's a fairly long bridge up here too. It looks like it's... Uh, kind of swampy area up here as you can see there to the right every once in a while you see a little bit of water so I guess they uh, had to kind of build this whole long bridge up here to uh, cross over the swampy area all right guys we are just about to pull into this rest area up here and we'll go find out if there's any parking left in there but uh, if they're in, we got to go continue another 20 miles to the next truck, truck stop. But uh, it looks like that, that truck stop is starting to fill up a little bit. So uh, we're going to go pull into this rest area and try that first. See if we got any parking in here. We don't really uh, need a truck stop. I mean, all we need is a washroom. So uh, let's go in there and let's find out if we got any parking left in here. Looks like it's starting to fill up even in here already, but that's not good. Looks like guys are already parking here on the edge. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Hopefully you can find us a park spot, parking spot in there somewhere so we can, you know, spend the night in here, but we'll go find out, I guess. We'll find out. Yeah, let's see what we can find in here. I really do hope that we can pull in here somewhere, but it looks like everything is filled up in here already. Wow, that's crazy. Yikes. Well, maybe there will be somebody pulling out of here or 
Maybe we can find a spot further down the road here, Continue but this guy's got his lights on. I'm kind of thinking that he might be pulling out of there pretty soon, but everything looks like it's full in here. Wow. That's surprising, but yeah, everything looks like it's full in here. So I guess we will, oh no, there's one spot right there. Look at that. We got lucky. Wow. One spot left, guys. That's it. We're going to take that spot right here. We are lucky, I would say, to be able to take this spot. So, thank God, right? All right, guys, here we are at this rest area. As you guys saw, we come in here. There's actually a couple of guys that pulled out over here after we pulled in, right? Yeah. But, uh, hey, looks like a gorgeous uh, rest area up here. So I said, you know what? We're going to get the camera out. We're going to show you guys. Yes, indeed. Look at this beautiful, beautiful rest area up here. What is that? That's a squirrel up there, eh? Look at that. There's a squirrel. I don't think the camera is going to pick that up, but it's there on that second table over there, there's a squirrel sitting right on top of that table there. Oh, yeah. Let's go check it out and see if we can, we can, how close we can get to that. No, it's taken off already. That's a big one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. They got a little bit of a seating area over here. That definitely needs to be replaced. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it could be replaced. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. That could probably need to be replaced, but look at these beautiful, beautiful big trees over here. Behind us here, eh? We got another one over there. Just absolutely gorgeous up here. What do you say, eh? Nice. Very nice, eh? Yeah. They got a bunch of tables over here where people can go and sit down and I guess have a bite to eat or whatever. All that good stuff. What is that? Is that a bird feeder over there? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Let's go take a look. It's like so humid out here. It feels like a sauna. <laughs> yeah, it feels like Arizona probably. It's like yeah. super hot and humid out here though. Uh -huh. But it's gorgeous. I mean, look at these big trees, man. I can't believe. Look at that. They're super tall. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. This looks like a bird feeder, eh? Let's take a look. No water. Oh, there's water in there on the bottom. There's some type of larva in there. Yeah. Huh. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to do, but looks like they got something in here. No idea. Maybe somebody can tell us. Well, they got something on here. Do not disturb for health. Okay. Monitoring program oh I see okay so they're probably probably using it to collect something and then they're probably going to test it later on in their labs eh yeah that's probably what they're gonna do got a little bit of a slope here but hey other than that beautiful beautiful rest area up here that's for sure yeah this would be nice setting up a tent over here and sleeping here in the tent uh-huh yeah i bet you they wouldn't like that too much but probably not but even even up here as you guys can see we got a lot of tables up here and that's where the rest area is and you can go in there use the restroom got a nice little bush up here behind us all that good so oh they got a bridge up there we got to go check that out oh yeah we gotta check everything out. We're nosy like Jukebox always says. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta look at these things. I don't know if they got like a little lake or a river or whatever down there, but we'll go check it out, right? Yeah. Do, don't lift the... Lift it accidentally. Whatever. No, don't let an accident spoil your trip. Oh, watch don't. Your, watch your children. Oh, watch your children. Okay, watch your children, guys. <laughs> yeah man it's hot out here eh? look there's a nest the there is a nest yeah what kind of bird nest would that be i don't know probably be like a hawk or something like that no no there. no that would be a small too small of a nest eh? yeah let's take a look i don't know if the camera is going to be able to tell but way up there on that tree he's talking about that nest up there there's actually another one way up there, it looks like. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. Looks like it. But anyways, let's go over this bridge and see what we got over here. Yeah. Just to walk over the bush, you know? Just to walk over the bush, right? Yeah. 
Well, it does look kind of low over there, so it's probably some kind of water floating down there, but let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, it's definitely wet down there. You see, the soil is all wet. I bet but, yeah. it used to be some sort of river or something. Yeah, probably was, yeah. But now they got this designed for a crosswalk here. Truckers or whatever park over there, or four wheelers can park over there. They can walk over here to the rest area up there. Yes, indeed. But, anyways, I think we're going to go back to the truck. We put our uh, APU unit on, so AC should be running in there, so it should be nice and comfortable, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. But, anyways, we're just on our adventure in trucking. <laughs> the things that we do get to see and enjoy, right? As yeah. a trucker, we get to see all kinds of things and feel different temperatures, different road conditions, everything. Everything about trucking is enjoyable most of the time. Not every time, but for the most part, right? It's very enjoyable. But anyways, we'll go back to our truck and then uh, we'll finish up our day today. All right, guys, I know uh, my uh, alarm is probably going to scream at me here. There it goes. <laughs> Didn't even get finished saying that, but hey, look at that. We are cooking some stew. My son over here is cooking. Yeah, I'm teaching him how to cook. He wants to be as good as dad, right? Oh, yeah. That's what his plan is anyways. I know you're probably fogging up a little bit there because of the steam from the, uh, from the cooking there, but hey, we're cooking us a stew right here in the truck. Trucker Rudy style. Oh, yeah. Voila guys, our dinner is served. Yeah, look at that, eh? What do you say? Good? I think so. I think so too, so let's get to eating. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.